our countdown of the 100 greatest films of all time continues. Now it's time for number 96. 96. <laughs> Explosive. 2008, The Hurt Locker. This is Catherine Bigelow's film. She would go on, of course, to direct Zero Dark Thirty. Yep. We've kind of forgotten a little bit about The Hurt Locker, and I know that from your point of view, you prefer this to Zero Dark Thirty. Tell me why. I do. I think that this was a, uh, a movie that really kind of exposed a world that most of us had never even thought of before, and in fact, it felt almost like a science fiction movie because it just seems so surreal that somebody actually has this job. In enemy territory, in the middle of a war-torn country, yeah. somebody has to go and walk around and defuse bombs that are littered in urban environments or, or out on, on country roads, and they have to wear that crazy suit and survive the most intense thing you could possibly imagine. Got to. All right, let's rock and roll, man. It's like a giant, horrific snowman suit yes. that they have to put on. And, and you're right, I agree with you about the science fiction element of it because the Iraqi desert, especially the way that Catherine Bigelow shoots it in this film, yeah. looks like a lunar moonscape out there. Absolutely. And also the suit itself just looks so high tech and it looks like it's so, you know, rigged and, and hot and you're sweating inside that suit with Jeremy Renner, who does a terrific performance in this film. You, it, you just feel the intensity from the second this movie starts to the very end of the movie. I think the things that really kind of help sort of elevate this movie to Oscar contender status are the scenes where Jeremy Renner actually goes back home and he's trying to, you know, reintegrate with uh, the normalcy of American life. Yes. And he just can't. He finds himself kind of just having that uh, that inner kind of freak out inside of a, a, a supermarket. And he's just like, I can't deal with this. I'm more at home inside of my bomb diffusing suit. You know, it's just incredible. And this is the tough thing because he goes through his tour of duty. And yeah. that's really what the film is about, the countdown to him going back home. Yes. And so he Try, gets and trying to survive, not getting blown up not in this whole thing. Not getting blown up. So it, like as the I'm days. Getting, I'm freaking out just thinking about it, right? Yeah. It's so intense, this movie. Blow dart. OK. So, <laughs> so as the days are counting down he finally gets back home what yeah. does he find back home evangeline lily yes. is his wife That's right and you get home and there's this sense of warmth and this sense of closure right. and guess what the film's not over because no. the ultimate message from this movie is a very twisted and dark message oh, man. is that he doesn't feel alive it's an addiction back to his old yes. prosaic existence once we've transformed these people and we put on the snowman suit yeah they're never the same again absolutely and how about that incredible cameo appearance from uh Ray finds in this movie as well. That whole sniper sequence in the heart of this movie. I forgot! 500,000 dead or alive! It's an incredible movie all the way through, but it, I mean, it just keeps piling on all kinds of inertia and intensity. And, y you know, I mean, Catherine Bigelow now has crafted some of the best action movies we have seen. She's, She's amazing. Brilliant. I think this is her in peak form. I think this is my favorite Catherine Bigelow movie. What I like about this is the way that it unfolds is, is very strange. It's not structured like a traditional no. movie at all. Everything feels very organic. It takes twists and turns that feel very authentic to me. And in fact, the scene that will never leave my brain is the one where the Iraqi civilian has a bomb strapped to his chest. Totally. And Jeremy Renner is hurrying to try to get this thing off the guy. And he's trying to get the clips off of him. I can't get them off I'm in time. I'm hyperventilating thinking about this movie. Very it, excited. That's how, that, that's how effective it is, though, man. It's that, so incredible. It's a very difficult scene to watch. Yeah. Lots of tough moments in this thing. Not a pleasant film. There's too many. I can't do it. I'm too I can't get it off. I'm sorry, okay? You understand? I'm sorry. Congratulations, Hurt Locker. I think you might deserve to be higher than 96, but you're number 96. <laughs> you rock.